enemy ships put out of the way, and our planes are still hacking into the units in the reef. General MacArthur... Jordan, O'Reilly. How's the war? Which one, Mr. Mayakovsky? Europe or the Pacific? Ours, ours. Charles Perkins calling. He sounds nervous. <laughs> nervous. We're all nervous. Very nervous time. Well, he wants to come and see you. He can stalling. Delays, delays, more delays. God in heaven, what does the man want? We're in business, doesn't he understand? I have friends, I have partners. He lives on an island, we live on the mainland. He's a strange character. You know, after the gold, he just... Well, please, please. There's no such thing as strange. This is only a man. A man is made up of desires. Understand his desires, you understand the man. It's very simple. They go hand in hand. Sei personaggi in cerca di autori. Italian's better than my Yiddish. This is a happy man. This is a happy man, look. Get me a recent picture. Who is he now? Who is he now? Find out what McCann desires. And we'll close the Luna Bay deal, Aurelio. But soon. But soon. Ah, my daughter Esther. Esther, this is Aurelio. Hello, Esther. Have some tea, have some tea. Do you think Mr. Perkins has unwisely informed McCann that we wish to build a casino on Luna Bay? I think that Mr. Perkins is certainly very worried about something. He's very close to McCann. Uh -huh. It's good for us. Might also be very bad for everyone. Jack is beginning to remind me of Lucky, and that's not good. One Lucky in my life is plenty of Luckies. <laughs> mm, 36. Jack never needed one of those things. <laughs> absolutely right. <laughs> He's very clever, my husband, isn't he? Not nearly as clever as my daughter. Mm. Try one of your numbers on her. Oh, no. The link doesn't matter. She can handle it. Let's take the 100,036 and divide it by, say, 178. Five hundred. 62? Is that right? It's incredible. <laughs> it's a gift. I'm sure that's not your only talent, Miss McCann. Well, what is your occupation on this planet? <laughs> Now, Mrs. Tomato is a businessman. Business. Uh, lawyer. Real estate? Lawyer, you said. Business. Thieves among thieves. <laughs> Pirates stealing from each other. Very fine piece you have. Yes. Kind of stupid to make a salt cellar out of gold. Stupid, my ass. <laughs> the alchemist made gold out of salt. Oh, no, Jack, it's bad luck. Throw some over your shoulder quickly. I don't believe in luck, good or bad. But everybody believes in a little bit of gold, even if it's just a wedding band. No, leave it. Let it burn. Where's my necklace? <laughs> Thank God. She felt it was ostentatious. Ostentatious? Look at that goddamn shirt. <laughs> this represents the teaching of the Kabbalah. Are you a Yid? Um, the search for wisdom is universal, Jack. 
There are five points. The first is silence. The second is listening. The third is remembrance. And uh, the fourth is practicing. And the fifth is teaching. And the sixth, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> there is only one golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And the rest is conversation. Be angry with Perkins. I don't think he believes me. And that's bad not to believe. Do you go to confession? Uh-huh. Every week. There's only one God between all the schmucks. And these men are without faith. They believe in nothing. I think that Jack McCann believes in himself. That's what I said. He believes in nothing. He makes me miss sugar. How can you do business with a man who believes in nothing? He's not a businessman. And we shall have to find some other way. I have to buy. So he must sell. He must sign, because we have to build. He dug up his fortune. We cannot allow him to stand in the way of new men who want to build their fortunes. Jack McCann is a dinosaur, Aurelio. And everyone knows what happened to dinosaurs. He has outlived his time. Regrettably, we must apply pressure. When? No time like the present. I'm pleased you came, Mr. McCann. This document needs your signature. God damn, I forgot my pen. Come on, I beg you to see reason, Mr. McCann. Call me Jack. I see reason. I see reason everywhere. I call it greed. What a pity. Hey, I got a medallion just like this. Hey, let's make a deal. Your friends seem confused, Charlie. You know the problem with murder. It never lets go of you. You should have told that to the Japs. <laughs> the Japs. I'll take it easy, Jack. Please. You want me to talk to your friends? The wolves. They're hunting packs. You go back and tell the leader of your pack, Senior D'Amato. There's no deal with Jack McCann. Look at you. If your mothers could see you. You can't touch me. Goes for you too, Charlie. Not even you. We'll see. Jack, what's going to happen to Luna Bay? Burn! 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 Sure that this is ethical, is it? Subpoenaed witness dancing with the wife of the accused. Come, Mr. Demato. You're a lawyer. What would you know about ethics? I mean, is it ethical? You resting your right hand on my left buttock? Haven't you any idea why I've been subpoenaed? And I was in bed. Well then, I wonder why you've been subpoenaed.
felt that he was envious of his wife's fortune and that he made deliberately derogatory remarks concerning Mr. McCann's wealth. He said that Mr. McCann had stolen the gold. No further questions, Manon. Now, now, now. 